Let us now look into the topic of water as a common pool resource. Over the past few decades, groundwater has turned into the primary source, particularly for agriculture and domestic use. This enormous increase in the utilization of groundwater has critical effect on water accessibility. Most of the latest laws on groundwater in many states are outdated and improper as they were formed during an era when groundwater was a minor source of water. But today, the situation is not same as shallow and deep tube wells can possibly draw a ton of water. Current laws on groundwater utilization are wrong since the fundamental connection between access to groundwater and land ownership on which these rules are based are imperfect. These laws state that the water drawn from the underground system is owned by the landowner. That is, there is no restriction on the landowner with respect to the amount of uses of water. But water is a flowing source and does not obey the human land relationship boundaries that are made on surface. Water extracted from a single tube well depends on the underground rock formation, recharge from rainfall or surface water. For example, over extraction of water from one tube well affect the other tube well also as these wells are interconnected by underground structures. In order to get a clear cut understanding, consider air blowing over a plot of land. It is always in a flow and can never be constrained within a boundary just like water. Moreover, in the present scenario, groundwater has become the major source of water for people. More and more extraction of water affects the availability of water for future generations. Thus water should be considered as a collective pool resource that is meant for all the people. Underground water should be considered as a public property just as roads, rivers and parks. Regulation on this concern is necessary but is not very easy to implement. It is because in the case of resources like water, electricity, oil, natural gas, consumption by one person affects what is left available for others. In fact, in spite of the presence of these serious issues, many state governments increased the power subsidies for groundwater extraction. Owing to these reasons, the political class must also change their thinking to make regulation work properly.